Hello YouTubers. This is a little short video. It's, it's supplemental information about the TSS number 5. Now I have one of these um, 10 gauge wads here. The uh, TPS 10 gauge wads that I use. In steel they will hold normally 1 and 5 eighths, maybe 1 and 3 quarter ounces, uh, depending on what size shot you're using. So, let's find out, just for the heck of it, how much weight it will hold in TSS number 5. Okay, so now, it's on there. We got it zeroed out. As you can see, it is zero. So, I'm really trying to be careful with this because I don't want to spill it. It's so expensive. Okay. Each pellet weighs about four grains. Okay, now that is the top of the shot cup. And we have 114 grams, which comes out to four ounces. Four ounces. I don't think I'm ready to shoot a shell like that. Four ounces. Uh, I don't think I can even design a load that would work with that. Not for 10 gauge. Four ounces, that sounds like something you'd shoot in an 8 gauge or something bigger. Um, you'd have to go down in powder because there'd be so much breach pressure it could damage the weapon. I don't know what the velocity would be, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to make a shell like that. But uh, evidently I will be using a lot of fiber wads and things like that to take up space with this. That is amazing. Four ounces. <laughs> it is so much denser than steel. A while ago I weighed uh, an individual pellet on my powder scale and it weighed approximately four grains. And I think a steel BB weighs about five, I'm pretty sure. So it weighs almost as much as a steel BB in a number five. This stuff is going to be amazing. Uh, I'll probably, I'm not sure what size loads I'm going to use. I don't have a 10 gauge, which is a lot here. See what I've got in recipes here. We don't have any in 10 gauge, unfortunately. So there are some 12 gauge recipes in uh, 7 8 ounce and 1 ounce. And also less than 2 and 3 quarter. There's also 12 gauge 3 and a half inch. Uh, two ounce load. It uses steel powder. So I could make that. But uh, we definitely would have a lot of recoil. So we'll see. We'll see what I figure out. I do have recipes for the uh, the heavyweight, the uh, 15, which uh, we got those for two ounce loads, 10 gauge. But uh, last season I mostly made 12 gauge shells, little one ounce loads, and I was knocking down the knees out of the sky from a pretty good distance with those. I'll probably stick to that. Uh, as far as these number fives go, they're going to be specialized for for pass shooting. I seriously doubt I would use it for anything else. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and please hit the like button.
thank you